In this video, we are going to find integers m and n such that m squared plus 3mn minus 2n squared equals 122. This is modified from the problem in part number 1954. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This equation contains a quadratic expression on the left hand side. So to solve this equation, I'm going to complete the squares on the left hand side. The expression is quadratic about either m or n, but it looks more viable to treat it as that about m, since the coefficient of the middle term is not even, so we need to multiply both sides by 4, so that when I complete the squares, all terms have integral coefficients. So it goes like this, 4m squared plus 12mn minus 8n squared equals 488. Now by completing the squares, I'm going to look at the first two terms. And it's part of two m and then added by three n, so that when I try to square two m plus three n, I'll get four m squared plus twelve m n plus some number multiplied by n squared, and that is actually nine n squared. So for the first two terms, it's equal to two m plus three n all squared minus. 9n squared and then of course I have to take care of the third term as well minus 8n squared and that's equal to 488 so that's completing a squared now simplifying I have 2m plus 3n all squared minus 17n squared equals 488 I will keep going. I need some more information about m and n, so I'm going to take mod 17 on both sides because this is quite, this is kind of an obstacle for me to do some kind of fat work on factorization. So I'm going to take mod 17 on both sides so that the 17n square term can vanish. However, if I take mod 17 on both sides, then left hand side will be congruent to 2m plus 3n all squared and that means it's a perfect squared. So when I take mod 17, the only possibilities are 0 squared which is 0, 1 squared which is 1, 2 squared which is 4, 3 squared which is 9, 4 squared which is 16, 5 squared is 25, and that's 8 mod 17. 6 squared is 36, and that's 2 mod 17. 7 squared is 49, that's 15 mod 17. 8 squared is 64, and that's 13 mod 17. And for 9 squared and beyond, it's actually just negative of the previous cases. For example, 9 squared is congruent to minus 8 whole squared mod 17 but that's actually exactly equal to 8 squared mod 17 so we actually do not need to consider those cases so that means all the possible values of squares mod 17 are 0 1 2 4 8 9 13 15 and 16 those are the only possible values however on the other hand, the right hand side is exactly 488 and when I divide it by 17, the remainder is 12. From this you can see that the remainders of both sides, when they are both divided by 17, they never match. Left hand side can be they have nine possible values, but they are all not equal to 12. So that means we actually have no integral solution. Just a little remark at the end of the video is that this is actually what you were asked to prove 
in the original Putnam problem, you were actually asked to prove that that equation has no integral solution and the key is to consider mod 17. So this is the final conclusion is that this equation has no integral solution.